With authority and power beyond measure, a billion dollars in every treasure, I could change the world. I could be heard. I can make an impact. I can help those who lack. Why do we wait for that? Why do we wait for exceeding abundance when we can already help the ones around us? You don't have to be a billionaire or deal with international affairs. You know the man upstairs. But do you listen? Christ was the example for every Christian. His love for us was his mission. You know our vision. Love God, others, and the Great Commission. If you believe, where is your faith in action? Where is your compassion? Are you going to sit idly and let the worst happen till coffers are empty and the land barren? Children are hungry with parents unable to say that they don't have enough. Can you imagine the pain on their face as they drink that bitter cup? Others are lost, sinking in fear and depression in the sea of their minds. They're on the decline with their faith resigned to suicide or a life of crime. Yet, we turn blind eyes, deaf in our ears to their cries, justifying it to ourselves, saying we don't have the wealth. But all it takes is a loving, caring heart to help. We are all God's children. We are heaven's citizens. So as people of His kingdom, are we spreading the message of His dominion? Pat Nixon said, Caring for others creates the spirit of a nation. So this is an invitation to unify communities and generations. As countrymen with God as our king, let's spread care and love in everything. So why are we waiting for more to care for one another? Maybe you're an orphan's answer for a mother or a father. God's kindness to a stranger, their answer, repair. You could give your money, love, or time. Just follow Jesus' paradigm.